you know, have some mechanical capabilities when I go to get a job. I have more than just a degree to show. I can say that I've worked on a car, done some sort of mechanical things, and I've uh, had some experience in the real world. What's up, people? I've got an interesting new here person here from Genus Garage. Let's meet him. Hi, I'm Spencer Bernard. I'm from Casper, Wyoming. I drove out here 1,300 miles to go to Genius Garage. This is my 70 Firebird. I've Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You drove how far from where? 1,300 miles from Casper, Wyoming. What'd you, you drive, what's this thing? It's a 1970 Firebird. I've had it since I was 16 years old. And it's, uh, I don't know, I've touched everything mechanically on it. It's got a new engine, new transmission, interior's been gone through. Bigger brakes, sway bar, springs, shocks. It's got some body work done, but it sounds not like a, a NASCAR lot. driver, doesn't it? Like, I just got out of track. My car went real fast. All right. <laughs> so yeah, I drove it a long ways. Awesome. So um, what are you doing here, man? I'm here to build race cars. Go You're fast. in Ohio. Yes, in uh, Bowling Green, Ohio. So what are you hoping to do with building race cars? Uh, hope to get some experience. Uh, you know, working on stuff that I wouldn't usually get a chance to work on. Fair enough, and uh, let's walk inside, but what, uh, what's your deal, man? Are you an engineer? Yeah, I'm a mechanical engineering student at the Casper College, and uh, yeah, at, uh, yeah, go to Casper College and the, the University of Wyoming. Show us what you're doing. Oh, the, oh, in here? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize you were following me. Oh yeah, I can follow you. Oh, all right. I'm all kinds of a creeper up in here. Well, this is the car I've been working on today. This is the first day I've been here. Um, didn't really do much. Just uh, messed with the cooling system a little bit, started it up, make sure it didn't leak, have anything wrong with it. Gonna check the brakes here soon. And what kind of car is this? It's a C4 Corvette body on a, it's a tube, chaps, yeah. tube chassis IMSA race car, C4 Corvette. So what are you Looking most excited deal. about working on this thing? Here, come on down here. Let's talk about this. Uh, I'm not sure. Working well, it's, on a, it's a lot like a NASCAR. Yeah, similar. I mean, it's uh, definitely more of a road race car. Um, uh, you know, pretty excited to learn about it. And tell us again, what, what school do you go to? Uh, Casper College now, but I'll be going to the University of Wyoming here soon. Very cool. And you're a mechanical engineer? Yep. What year? This is my second year. Awesome. So you and other couple of people cool. come and you guys are, what are you doing with this? What's your plans and goals? Plans and goals, make sure it's uh, fit and ready to race, do some things, change out the brakes. Uh, maybe tune on to it a little bit. We have a test day coming up in the middle of June, and then we're going to be racing in the middle of July. So totally, totally. So what uh, what have you learned so far about this car? Uh, it doesn't really need a whole lot. It was a running race car when it was parked, so really just going through little things, making sure it's uh, ready to go. Totally. Well, beyond that, though, we had to check if there's potential internal leak with the coolant. You got to prep all the fluids. You yeah, there was the a problem. Shot. Yeah, there was a problem inside the block where that was, it was sealed by the machine shop, but it may still be leaking a little bit. It had some milky residue left on the belly pan that we looked at, and it seems to be fine now. So. Well, you made it sound real easy. What are all the things you're going to have to check, set up, prepare, and what what are we hoping to accomplish with this? Really, uh, check the. Uh, I don't know. Have a good have a good racing season this July. Uh, <laughs> gonna check everything out. This is where he learns how difficult this actually is. So we have to do scaling and set up. Yeah. Right with all the wheels, all the alignment, everything there. The mm -hmm. brakes are shot, so we got to learn about that. And then when we go testing, we're gonna have to bed them in right, get the temperatures mm -hmm. up so they're not shot. We're gonna have to do valve lash, check all the machining with regard to that. Yeah. We're gonna have to go through the oil pump. We're gonna have to go through everything relating to the valve. There was a fluctuation. We're gonna have to go through all the wiring. We have to go through all the safety stuff. We gotta check the regs. I mean, literally everything. He thought it was gonna be easy. It's not easy. Yeah. Maybe his Firebird works better, I'm thinking. It worked good for 1,300 yeah. miles. <laughs> He's stuck here. It's never gonna get him back. So uh, beyond that, we've got another couple of students coming to be part of the cars and racing and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. Now, so we got the Corvette, and are you, are you digging it so far? Is it a cool car? Oh yeah, I really like it. Right yeah, on. It sounds good. So if we get this to the point where it's uh, ready to go, ready to test, but we're waiting and we've got more time, what are we going to do with our time beyond that? If it's already ready to test? Yeah, uh, like it's ready to go and it hasn't broken or anything. I'll yet. be working on this red car. Well, show us that thing. What's it all about? Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. I know it was... Uh, Nissan four-cylinder. Yeah, that's true. And it hasn't rained yet. True. It's uh, it's pretty neat actually. It's a full carbon fiber monocoque. You want to open the door for uh, me? Yeah. Open the window. It is. Yeah, let's check that out. 
I forgot it. Yeah, so. No, it's okay. Full carbon fiber monocoque. Very cool car. Very cool prototype car. You can see the carbon fiber here, the door. And the entire bodywork is carbon as well. So that's a great opportunity to do a prototype car. Yeah, it is. And it's never ran for us. And this is Genius Garage's newest car. It's powered by a Nissan four-cylinder engine, naturally aspirated. And uh, so Spencer hasn't really gotten to see much of it yet, but this is going to be the other exciting project to learn from. So what do you think? What, which car are you more excited about? Probably the Corvette. It's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty nasty. It's more than more what I'm used to, and I'm excited to see it. Uh, we started up and did a warm-up cycle today for the first time. Yeah, we did. How'd you feel about that? It sounded really good. It ran good, and... Uh, How loud was it? It was pretty loud. I think I've heard louder cars, maybe a front-engine dragster or something like that, but uh, it's definitely pretty, pretty wretched. Very nice. Right on, man. Right on. Well, beyond that, uh, so we got the uh, champ car over there, and we got this. What are you going to do with your Firebird while you're here hanging out in Ohio? Um, I have some front spoiler and flares to put on it. It looks kind of goofy right now. Uh, little things like that, some upkeep, flash the valves, and make sure it's uh, ready to go, because I probably will be daily driving it all summer. Cool, right? And you may be doing autocross or whatnot? Yeah, at autocross, maybe a couple track days. Cool. And so with Genius Garage and your experience here, what are you hoping that that will help you learn, but also accomplish through school and your career? Where are you going with that? I think it'll be a really good thing to put on a resume to help prove, I mean, maybe do more than my, my car has to prove and show that I, you know, have some mechanical capabilities when I go to get a job. I have more than just a degree to show. I can say that I've worked on a car, done some sort of mechanical things, and I've uh, had some experience in the real world. Very cool. And you mentioned you actually hoped about potentially being an engineer on a NASCAR team someday. Well, maybe not NASCAR, but uh, maybe some kind of Formula IndyCar. Cool. Okay. I mean, yeah. So you'd love to be in the cool. racing industry, give it a shot at least while you're younger and for that, your engineering yes. career? Mm -hmm. All right, man. Well, we will catch you next time. So anyway, guys, I hope you will like and subscribe. This is Spencer from Wyoming, and yeah. this is his build with the race cars. So, right. have a good one. Yeah, I think we might be going to Road America. So, subscribe and comment.